And of course, toxic talk, you statements. We stay away from you statements with every child. What is wrong with you? Your attitude is disgusting. Can't you do anything right in my personal favorite? Are you deaf? <laughs> and here's another rule, folks. When you're upset, when you're angry, when children are ruffling your feathers, speak from the eye. I don't like what's going on right now. I want it to stop. I'm getting very upset at this moment. I. The minute you go to you, it's a put down, and now there's revenge involved. They've got to get back at you. So we stay away from what we call toxic talk. I ask teachers very often, if you use toxic talk, does that change the behavior? And what do they say? No. no. I say, well, why do you use it? I don't know. You know? So we say the definition of insanity <laughs> is doing the same thing over and over and thinking you'll get a different result. So here's my advice, nice little metaphor here. If the horse you're riding dies, get off. <laughs> Try something else. And to me, and I know a lot of you use empathic eye messages. And this, is, and this takes a lot of rehearsal, but the empathic eye message is probably the most effective response to temperamentally difficult children that you can use, at least that I've discovered anyway. And what it is, the first part of the empathic eye message is kind of like actively listening to feelings where you kind of reflect the feeling, I can see you're upset, I can see you're angry, that kind of thing. And it shows warmth and, and, and concern and so on. But then the second part is the firmness and the don't mess with me. I can see that you are angry, but I will not allow you to hit. I want you to ask him if you can play with the truck. Now the next sentence I'm gonna give you is a takeoff on this one, only as preschool teachers, you know, a lot of us, we study Piaget, right? And Piaget says that uh, to understand is to invent. And I've always liked that. It means kids can't really be creative un un until they know something. Okay? So look at this particular statement. I know that you are angry and that's why you hit her. Can you think of a way to make her feel better? So now we're appealing to the child's sense of creativity, if you will, to come up with, to invent some solutions to make the child he has just injured, if, if you will, feel better. I know it's fun to throw things, but I need for you to put the puzzle pieces back in the box so they won't get lost. I know you are upset, but I want you to speak to me with respect. I will not allow you to speak to me that way. These all have to be, now you can write your own and rehearse them. And this can be part of your plan and you can maybe even work with parents to use empathic eye messages at home as well. A child who constantly interrupts others during circle time. Somebody give me an empathic eye message. Yes, ma'am. I understand you have something to say, but the other children want to finish listening to the story, so let's wait until we get Yeah, or I, I, I use the word I. I need for you to wait until we're finished with the story. But you know, I can see you have something to say. You're, you're warm, you're nice. It's that blend that is very effective. Thank you, that was very good.